Good evening, math scholars. In this video, we're going to take a look at absolute value equations. Now, solving absolute value equations, we're again going to use the exact same steps that we've used in previous equations. We're just now going to be doing it to equations with absolute values. In these steps, we're going to simplify, add, subtract. Remember, this is the opposite operations, opposite sides. Multiply, divide. Again, opposite operations, opposite sides. Exponents, we still won't get to this in this uh, section. And grouping, we will now see what grouping looks like in this uh, type of equation. So we've got that, uh, 2 times the absolute value of x plus 1, the minus 4 equals 10. Remember, our whole goal is to isolate that x. But we'll notice that the x is inside an absolute value. So what I want you to do is actually just block that off. Because we need to save that till the end with our grouping step. Because we can't actually multiply 2 times that absolute value. So past this point, I want you to think of 2 times something minus 4 equals 10. And just ignore that for now. So we don't actually have a simplify step here, but we do have a subtraction, so we're going to do the opposite of that. We're going to add. Cancels the 4 out. 2 times something equals 14. We're done with add, subtract. Now we're going to multiply, divide. We're already multiplying by 2, so we're going to divide by 2. We have no exponents, so we're going to ignore that. This is the step we're going to be looking at now, grouping. I want us to go back and see x plus 1, the absolute value of x plus 1 in that block. When I say grouping, this is what I mean. We have a group of this variable and this number and the absolute value. So we need to now ask ourselves, in order to deal with this grouping, what things can I take the absolute value of and get 7? Those two things are positive 7, of course, but also negative 7. So now that we've dealt with that grouping step, you're going to see we're actually going to have to go to an earlier step. We're going to have to actually go back to our add-subtract step. That's going to happen once we deal with that grouping step. Usually we're going to have to go back to an earlier step. So now we're going to Opposite of add 1, subtract 1. And x will equal 6. Or subtract 1 to this equation as well. x will equal negative 8. So we end up with two answers. And that's the steps we go through to solve absolute value equations. So good luck on your practice problems.